Where are my aircraft? Yeah, we want to be working this side. <laughs> I think I had them doing close air support on the wrong side. I can put a couple of hundred medium bombers in that other side, though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even gonna look at China. I have no interest in what's going on in China. Let's send the good stuff over. Now these guys have the range to actually. Not enough intel. Are they actually going to travel there or not? No, I don't think they are. I'll put them in here then. Can I not do it? Nothing's moving. Hmm. Must be the volunteer air limit. Well... Yeah, it didn't say about limits before, but anyway, it's fine. I guess we can probably do without. What, um, hey, my tanks got in there. They, they got in there really quick, actually. Who have we got coming in here? Berserker Gamer, thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Oh, it might have been, could it have been night? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Welcome to the conquest of the world. How's it going with you? What, what have you been playing today? Let's go... Let's go over oh, here. Do an interesting cut-off. The, uh, the Spanish troops will follow me straight in. We've been attacked. Take the I mean, these things aren't the best at defending in mountains, but... Where did my... Where did my... Um... Oh, there you go. There's the trucks. Nice. That'll all get cut off very nicely. In fact, let's go piling in. Which is the wrong thing to do. Sending tanks in, in the mountains. Uh, but we don't really care. What's going on? What have we got? Uh, decisions available. Mm, nothing too exciting there. Promises of peace? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes, we'll have some of this at some point. That'll be nice. We'll get some of those areas. I seem to have hit a bit of a slowdown in military production. I think it's because... Let's just take a look at the trade situation. We're all good. We're good for resources. It's just purely because I need to up my production, isn't it? It's trucks. Ah, okay. They'll be for the support companies. Right. They might be a bit of an issue. Uh, light tanks, we're going to knock those down because I'm not going to make as many. And we'll put it into truck production. And these things are kind of catching up a little bit. The, that's catching up nicely. Yeah, it's that. That's where it's uh, painfully slow at the moment. And we'll have a massive stock of anti-tank guns, which I will need at some point. I'll incorporate them into, uh, into some template or other. What DLC do I have? I have... I found out today I had one more than I thought. I've got Together for Victory, Man the Guns for the naval stuff, Awakening the Tiger. Now, I bought all those three in a, in a pack when they were on sale ages ago. And there was another one. Is it Death or Glory? Or something like that? For Honor or something like that? I can't remember. Um, it turned up. I, I looked at my list of DLC today and that was there as well. I wonder if I've picked that up free somewhere cause, or with the main game. I, don't, I didn't buy that separately, so... I have no idea where it uh, appeared from. Right then, let's bring the army over here. What about the cavalry? Is the cavalry finished? The cavalry is finished. Bring them in so we can find some, find some work. Nice. Okay, that's what I wanted. Panzerkampfwagen 3. Uh, we will start making medium straight away. I can make tigers. 1941. Is that? Oh well. Yeah, there's a bit of a rush ahead there. I don't feel the need quite to go to those just yet. Mind you, being able to make Panzer IVs this far ahead of time, that would be really nice. But the Panzer III isn't too bad, and we will uh, <laughs> we'll get them used up. We're in 38. 
fuel is managing at the moment, but I'm not using an awful lot of it. Let's just see where we are with things. I haven't got the bonus yet for the submarines, have I? I got the ones for the destroyer hulls. That'll take... Still take a while. It's the submarine hulls I'm really interested in. Land Doctrine is working away. Artillery. We have no bonuses there. Armour, we've just seen. Support companies. That's alright. What about weapons? Yes. Okay, let's get some weapons on the go. We'll get caught up there. Yeah, I haven't felt the need to buy any more DLC. I, I didn't get... Oh, these are weak. I think we can do this with um, three light tank divisions. Let's try it on. I'm going to send those in as, uh, as backup. Yeah, they're going to go. They're going to go. The U-boat efforts. Excellent. So we're going to start working on um, some, some awesomely cool early subs. Trade interdiction. To, uh, okay, that's nice. Research bonus for trade interdiction. Whereas we're not needing to do that just yet. I don't need to go there at this moment. So uh, I might do the Molotov ribbon chop. Or I might do this. I need production, I think, so. I'm not too badly off for resources, though, at the same time as that. Befriending Japan. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Well, let's start that one off. We'll get some allies. We're in 38, so time is ticking on here. Yeah, the La Resistance DLC, I didn't feel a need to get that. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. If, do I want to worry about the, uh, the such a minute detail as spying in this game? Does it play out and does it work for all nations as well? It's obviously based around the French one. I think it also covers a, a different French national tree. But um, I don't know, it, it didn't, it didn't yeah, seem Peter. particularly important for me to, to get that. What we're going to do is just gonna cut these guys off here. And then we're going to attack from two sides. Two divisions, send them in. Oh, wait, hang on, I need to be making some stuff. Right, right, okay. Before I forget, we need to go to the production tree. And we're going to drop light tank production a bit. Do I even want any? I do sometimes use them. Nah, we can... Well, we'll actually... Yeah, I can, I can put that out altogether, can't I? I've got a thousand in stock. And we're going to go for medium tanks. The Panzer III. Just a good old plain Panzer III at the moment, but this is going to be on fairly high priority. Yep, give me some tanks. <laughs> some good stuff as well. The dockyards. What were we producing? I'll put these into these early subs at the moment. Convoy numbers are going up slowly, which is fine. I don't think I need huge amounts. I will need some for some naval invasions, though, so I need to keep that in mind. That's going to finish soon. Good. Let's work on that and see what happens. Insufficient resources. It's the rubber. It's the rubber. Should I trade? Wait, hang on. Oh, I need this one. Brazil. I could take it all from Brazil. Yeah, go on. Let's let's do that. We're up to two. Send. Which will allow me to increase my aircraft production a bit. Well done, everybody. Right, now attack these from behind. And in we go. Where did my cavalry go? Over there. Oh, we might as well open another front. So the La Resistance gives Vichy France a focus tree as well as Portugal and Spain. Ah, okay. Oh, all right, okay. Port Portugal I've never played. Spain I've started a couple of games as, but never really got hugely into them. I don't think I've finished a game of Spain ever. Now what are we short of? Uh, tungsten. I can increase that myself. I should, uh, yeah, probably work on that with a bit of infrastructure building. 
I think I can. I think we're mining that in Germany. Or extracting it, I should say. Wait, hang on. Are my fellas not going in here? Send them in. And there's something missing. Oh, no. No, they're all there. So we must have won. Elastic defense. Keep on working this down. Ah, now this is going to be interesting. The Blitzkrieg. Tanks, breakthrough plus 20%, organization plus 3. That sounds really good. I think this is probably what we want. Organization, recovery rate. And then there's a load of other stuff down there. Whereas this one is recovery. It's a recovery rate, max speed. I think I can do without that. Mind you. Mind you, that's good. All infantry and motorized mechanic, mecha, uh, mechanized. Plus 10 organization. There's a lot of extra organization in there. Are we going to go with the tanks, though? I get some organization. Yeah, I am, because tank organization is terrible anyway. And that will help. What does this one give them? They get extra organization from that, so... Will the motorized and mechanized do? Which was that one? It says all infantry. That's a, that's a good line, but uh, this gives me nothing for the tanks themselves. I'm going to go down this line. Go for it. I've never played as Vichy France, either. I've played as France a few times. Although, I think I've always managed to hold the Germans off and play as a, a full playthrough as regular vanilla France. Right, are we not in there? Let's get moving. We should have the, um, yes, air superiority, air support. Looking good. Looking very good. Probably losing some trucks in combat here. Tanks, not so much, though. I don't seem to have any issues with tanks. Let's move them on. Ace pilot promoted. Nice. Let's pile in here. Knock everything back to Barcelona. The computing machine. Okay, we should probably open up both of these. Encryption. And decryption. Uh, they're both pretty good. We'll go with those. How long have I been streaming this for? Till 7 o'clock UK time tonight. And then I'll be back on Thursday afternoon uh, to carry on with it. So I'm on here for about another hour and a half. A bit more. So we might see we might see the start of the major the major war kicking off. Oh I think we can probably get in here. Let's get the tanks on. Three of those. Attack from this angle if we can. Is that going to be bad? Because it would be, be nice if we can get in this and knock this guy out. It's, a, it's not the best position. This would be a better position for the tanks to attack. But then we can scoop those up. And I didn't want four divisions to retreat into here because that's a bit of a tougher nut to crack. Let me send the cavalry over there and then in. It looks like we're in, though. Yeah, we are. Send the cavalry back. <laughs> and while these guys are busy retreating, send the tanks in. And the cavalry in. Come on, everyone in. So, yeah, poor old Republican Spain is not looking too well. Uh, let's pause and just see what we've got. Modify the government. What's left? got more high command which we could go for chief of the air force a tank designer a medium tank designer reliability and soft attack is both good uh yeah we'll go with that armor research speed Henschel. 
What do we get there? We get max speed 5% and reliability 10%. That sounds rather good. It's a mobile tank designer. But it doesn't say light tanks, does it? It looks like all armor. Unless I am misreading this. I definitely don't want the heavy. I mean, soft attack is always good. It's all armor. Well, 10% reliability on all armor is, is really nice. As is max speed, which we don't get on that one. Although I don't think the speed matters too much. Hmm. It is historical settings, yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to follow quite the exact same path that historical Germany did, but I am playing. I'm playing historical settings, so the rest of the world follows their historical paths. We've got reliability versus a bit of extra soft attack. Well, five percent soft attack. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm going to go with that. I'm going for the medium tank plan. So I'm going to play a little bit in character and go with all that. You go mobile tanks whenever possible. Oh, I'm on the wrong keys again. WASD. Don't work on this. <laughs> it did look good. But... I think we'll be alright. Right, we need to get... Oh, let's go across this river here. And there's a nice cut-off. If I go down to Valencia, these guys will all get cut off up there and they'll get scooped up. But it won't be a fancy manoeuvre. It'll just be a plough straight through the middle, I suspect. Uh, what have we got? We've got dockyards. Excellent. Make me some more of those for the time being. Oh, um... Yes, I need to pause this. Because now we can start creating. Let's go to this. Edit this Panzer Division. Duplicate that. And we're going to call it... Um, we're going to call it uh, Medium Tanks. Save. It will change, I think. So let me just make sure that's gone. Yes, it has. Right, so this is the one we're going to edit. Nothing's using this at the moment. So let's get rid of the lights. Do I have enough XP? To, I don't have enough XP to do this, sadly. Medium tanks. That's going to cost 20. Well, we put one more in. Hmm. <laughs> Save. We can start producing some, because our factories will start kicking some of these out. So let's just put one in for now. One medium tank division. Is our cavalry finished? Our cavalry isn't finished. It's waiting for... What's it waiting for? Motorised and support equipment. It's alright, it'll get it. It will get it. Uh, let's put this in... Castle. Those factories are going to come online soon. Max speed influence and reinforce rate. Ah, okay. So that's... that's I didn't realise that. That would help. And lets you overrun easier. It is nice, though. And maybe I should have gone for that. Never mind. It did look like a tough choice. The soft attack to break them a bit quicker versus um, all the benefits you've just listed. Yeah. I mean, they have quite a bit of soft attack anyway, so I was wondering, but... Anyway, we can with something we can switch around, but we shall stick with it for now. Let's pile everything in here and zoom down here at maximum speed. And then we'll redeploy, I think, and maybe do a big cut off across here, scoop up all that, and then cut that across. It's all about quartering up the enemy's position, this game. We've got, what have we got? We've got trucks, cavalry. We better send something in there. We better make sure our aircraft are bombing the right place as well. Yeah, they're still, they're still in the right place. It's good. <laughs> the, um, okay, the fighters, 
They don't look like they've got anything to do whatsoever, so maybe I will send them back. I don't think there's anything to shoot down. Let's send them back up here, and they can retrain when they get there as well. Turn that off, by the way. Uh, what can we... Can we send something else out in its place? I can do some more ground support, I guess. Yep, I can. Excellent. There's just, there's just no enemy planes there to shoot down. Victoria 3. I haven't actually played the other Victoria games, but people say it's really good, and I am interested in those sort of strategy games, so I will probably take a look at it. Let's send in the cavalry here. And those guys. Oh, and let's send in one lot of tanks. It's been on the uh, capture up here. Dive bombing. Oh, nice. That'll give us an immediate benefit. And we've got a bonus on this. The ground support. Air support mission. Ground support. Uh, I might come back to that in a moment because I really, really wanted to get started on the 1940s submarines. We are ahead of time, but I'm going for that. Then we can start making really good subs. Nice and cheap. Play Victoria 2. Struggled a bit with the UI. I, I don't I don't even have any inclination, uh, sorry, not inclination, um, idea of what it even looks like. I mean, is it like uh, Europa Universalis type of games? Is it, uh, is it like the old imperialism? Was it imperialism? Colonialism? Imperialism? Was that it? I think it was imperialism. It was a strategy game where you, you played in this fantasy world and you played a major power and maybe it was colonialism. God, I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> I played it back in the day of early PC gaming. Um, it was actually, it was quite good. It was quite good till it got to the end game. No, I think it was Imperialism. Your favourite Paradox game still Crusader Kings 2? I like Crusader Kings 3. I do like it. I think I prefer it more than over 2 because um, they, uh, this is, there's an element of ridiculousness in it and humour which they've added in. Which is, is there to some extent in 2, but they've taken it a bit further in 3. I really like 3, actually. Uh, I've played through a full campaign as the King of Ireland and really enjoyed that. Although I will say, the ending's crap. You don't get, you just get a score screen and you don't get, it. it's a bit like this actually, you don't get much of a comparison to the other families and stuff. So I was disappointed playing through to the end date. Just something a bit more than what they give you would have been nice. Uh, but it's, it's a fun ride, enjoy it. Hey Susan, how's it going? Evil Mark takes over. I know, the evil glasses. Mwah. <laughs> it's, just when, it's when I can't put my contact lenses in I can't see straight and I end up playing the baddies by accident that's, what, that's all it is I thought I was playing Belgium but apparently it was the German flag I clicked on silly me I thought we were doing well befriend Japan so befriend Japan uh, what shall we move on next so many fun evil things to do right ignore that side we're okay with the navy for the moment we can start making demands we should maybe start making Japan, uh, demands before it goes too late befriend Czechoslovakia oh no I don't think so let's reassert my eastern claims start June 1938. Are we a bit behind with things? We might be a little bit behind with things. Let's move... Uh, let's move Rommel's entire army into position over here. There's a really nice cutoff point just here. And we're going to go hammering in. <laughs> Evil Mark conquers the world where good Mark thinks he's just playing a travel simulator. Painting the world a different colour depending on which countries he's visited. Yes, you've got me. You got me down there, I think. 
can't deny that. Send in the Panzers. And these other two, let's send them over there. And help this guy out. That's not going very well though, is it? Oh, it's changed now. Oh, we might be able to affect this cutoff really quickly here. This could be very good. Uh, we shall just take one division into there. Luckily, these guys can't stand up to anything. Oh, all three? Okay, well, yes. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it, then. If you insist. Oh, I could have got Alicante. I still can get Alicante. Right, they're going to be um, under a little bit of pressure there, so let's counter-attack. Yep, and get Mercia as well. Nice, it's controlling these ports, so they're going to make a, a chunky difference here. Are you on my side? Yeah, that's gone. Excellent. So we got some equipment, and we have a potential ally, and those guys are coming home. So, Spanish Civil War is over, and suddenly, everything goes quiet. The guns have stopped. An interesting development. We did quite well there, so these, these people should, they should love us now. Guarantee independence? I don't think so. We could ask for docking rights. Yes, let's ask for docking rights. That would be good. That's good. It's been accepted. Okay, good. We shall keep hold of that. So our force is coming back. Uh, let me have a little look. Free civilian factories. What do we need to make? Infrastructure. I did, I did think infrastructure was going to be something important. Synthetic refineries. Let's go for a little bit of infrastructure. Where are we making... Yes, it's tungsten. Where's the biggest tungsten producer? That was the biggest tungsten producer. Okay. So if I put some in there... I do eventually get some extra tungsten out of that. It's not going to make take much effort to do that. So let's do that one. And dockyards, we're going to get some more free dockyards in a bit anyway. Let's hold up that for now and see. Oh, we've still got more free. Okay, brilliant. Well, military factories then. Oh, we, we should maybe, I forgot to look at Austria. We should maybe start thinking about something down here. Uh, somewhere nice and safe anyway. But we'll put some more military factories in there. I'm sure these will come in very useful at some point. Got to build up Franken. I'll build it all up. Guarantee slavery and eternal suffering. That sounds a bit harsh. <laughs> Austria. Austria. is, 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 is There is no such thing as Austria now. It's just South Germany. As it's uh, now known. So did my aircraft come back there? Those people did. Excellent. Let me go... Well, I can stay there. Well, I'll forget about them, won't I? Let me go and stack them up, up here. So we've got a bit of experience for the aircraft, which is good. We are still building medium bombers, which is also good. And the fighters... Um, I've got two here. You can just split in half there. 